Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Gina of Gina Renee Art and Budgets and I am back with yet another grocery haul. I actually meal planned this time so I'm going to pop that up on the screen so that you guys can follow me. I went to Walmart and Kroger but I haven't quite figured out how much I spent because I was shopping for us and my son and he gave me money for his stuff so I haven't quite figured all that out yet but I know I'm within budget because I really didn't need too much actually I was able to meal plan really for a week without even going to the store so a lot of this is just stuff my my husband requested um, and little things I needed for our meal plan okay so we can start there you guys, I don't know if you guys realize, but I always get fresh flowers because I love them. Um, I got a shank ham. It was only $8.42, and we will be making that for New Year's Day. Pork is supposed to be good luck. Um, then I got, I don't know if you can see it, but that's catfish. We're also going to fry that on New Year's Day. Fish also is something for New Year's Day. Um, then I got a couple ribeye steaks. We had one already in the freezer, so I got a couple more for me and my son. And my husband requested some neck bones, and those look pretty good to me, so I got those. Italian sausage. This was on sale for, I think, $2.99 at Kroger. Um, we're going to make some spaghetti. And then the Smithfield bacon was on sale for $5.99 and then I had a coupon for like $2.50 off of two or something like that. Um, the butterfly shrimp, my husband likes these. Um, this was on sale for $7.97. Then my husband requested the gizzards. I'm not sure how much they cost. I'm not gonna waste time trying to look on this receipt, um, but they're gizzards so they weren't that expensive. Um, Milo's Lemonade. I was looking for my husband's Zero Tea, and can y'all believe it? They didn't have any, but this is like $2.99 for the gallon. And then I got a big chicken broth, um, for some Tuscan salmon and shrimp pasta that I'm making today. And this is like $1.98 is the value size. Cabbage was $0.69 cent a pound. Um, this one that I got was about two bucks, a little over two bucks. And then I got a three pound bag of onions for $1.98. The strawberries were on sale at Kroger for $2.98. They didn't look that great, but I got them. Then my husband needed feta for his Greek salad. I needed some parm for my Tuscan salmon and shrimp. This was like uh, three, three and some change. And then I needed some canned goods. So the great value ones are 50 cent each. The Campbell soup was 10 for 10 at Kroger. You don't have to get 10, so they're a dollar each. Um, I got some refried beans for Taco Tuesday. Vegetable beef soup, this was like 70 something cent for Kroger brand. The Jack's Pizzas, um, I got two, they were $2.98 each. This Black Eyed Peas for New Year's Day was $1.67. I got an 18 count of large eggs. Eggs were on the high side, like $2.40 something for that. Then the Kraft Shredded Cheese was $2.49 at Kroger. I got some hot dog buns. Ruffles chips were on sale for $2.49. I got the spinach. That's also for today for my Tuscan salmon and shrimp. And then underneath here is three bunches of turnip greens and three bunches of mustard greens. They were $0.98 cent per bunch, and those will also be for New Year's Day. So um, whatever you see on our meal plan, I pretty much had everything. Um, as you'll be able to see the stuff that I bought other than say the neck bones and the gizzards will just be kind of snack type lunch weekend type of stuff as you guys know I only meal plan 
my dinners. Um, I also have some fruit bars in the freezer that I bought. And I'm trying to think something else I put up. Anything that was in the freezer, I think I put it up other than those pizzas. But I can't remember what it is. So, in total, I believe for Walmart and Kroger, minus my son's stuff and the money that he spent, I was around... 140 ish somewhere in there it might be less i just haven't figured it out so i just wanted to share this with you guys and i hope you guys will have a very 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 happy happy new year and i look forward to sharing more content with you guys in 2022 be on the lookout for my video where i will reveal my office makeover my goals for 2022 and the winner of my giveaway. You guys, give me a thumbs up if you like grocery hauls. Give me a thumbs up if you're nosy. <laughs> and please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Leave me a comment below and what you're looking forward to in 2022. Thank you guys so much for all your support along the way. And have a blessed and happy new year. Bye-bye.